but that is still a crucifixion. And you can rise above it. And you can move into compassion for those that harmed you and have an understanding. They were acting out of their pain. And where did their pain come from? What you projected out. It came back to you. You saw what you read. You read, pardon me, what you saw. So as you're moving out of sowing that painful <clears throat> part of your soul, you have created a new life, a new heaven on earth, and the resurrection is into the fifth dimension, where there is no more pain and suffering, where the fears have been dispelled by the light, where the love fills you and surrounds you, and you emanate love to all those around you, and the painful people will no longer be there. Like the waters, they will be stilled. You have dissipated the third dimension, dense, heavy energy that is painful, keeps you sick, keeps you out of reality of God's love. You were created as perfect love, and it's time to claim your inheritance. You are perfect love. All you have to be is the channel of that love coming through you to others and being in that experience of providing help and service to those around you. The love you have flows to others through God's grace, is moving through you, and your channel has been opened. It's no longer blocked by the third dimensional dense energy, but you have cleaned the channel. You have become a channel of God and have moved into the Christ consciousness where you truly belong, where the Ascended Masters are helping you to achieve and we're helping you to move into that new life, heaven on earth. You are bringing the Lord's Prayer into manifestation. Um, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God is whole. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. You are returning to whole creatures. You are returning the love to this planet that it was originally intended to have. And the rest will be dispelled as Mother Earth moves into the fifth dimension and you hopefully will choose whatever is best for you. But if you choose to ascend into that new life of heaven on earth. You are open and willing and able to do that and hopefully you will find that you have returned home in your hearts to the love that was missing. And you have been searching in every person with your money, trips, possessions, whatever you have used to try to fill that hole inside, it won't be there any longer. It will be overflowing with God's love. You will be in abundance, prosperity, an unending energy we call everlasting life. And you will have come home. So you see, this trip is really what you were looking for all the time. So as your experiences of having to face another situation and send love to it, know that you are becoming closer and closer home every time you do that. No matter what happens, you send love. No matter the pitfall, the person, the situation, what is the most loving thing you can do for yourself and for others? And you have moved in to the fifth dimension. I welcome you home. And now we would like to have Archangel Ariel help you even uh, a little more realistically or practical help you to achieve that at this time so we will have her uh, come in and help you now. Have a wonderful afternoon. I hope this has been informative and I hope that you will apply it to your life. It is a live or die situation. Light will be your life the light of God, the love of God, and with it, without it, your soul will not survive. Thank you for being here this afternoon.
Thank you, thank you. Thank you. And so it is. St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Well, thank you. I'm Archangel Ariel, and I would like, I would love to give blessings, and I would like to help you find some blessings in your life today. So if you would like to just relax and take a big, deep breath, and blow out and say, relax, and take another big, deep breath and hold it for a minute, and blow out that tension and relax. And next to you, I want you to visualize a beautiful cloud, very fluffy, very beautiful white, firm like a mattress, but fluffy like a cloud. And you can crawl onto that cloud right now and you're gonna relax on that cloud. And you're gonna have experience what it's like to be able to relax even further so this light can come in and replace the darkness. So just get on your cloud, take another big deep breath and just spread out and feel like you're just open to all that comes. And breathe out any tension. Focusing first on your face and head, breathing out any tension or strain or tightness and let that sunlight that's around your cloud that's filling the sky let it come into your head and let your head relax and let your brain relax your brains work so hard it's time to say relax I'm gonna move out of my head and into my heart just relax you can go on vacation brain and let that sunlight move the tension out of your body as it goes into your torso. Seeing the sunlight fill you and all the dark energy might be hidden somewhere or another in your body, in your physical body, just let it, the sunlight dispel it. It fades away. And now your head and your throat and your body is beaming in the white sunlight of God. And letting that tension flow out through your legs, your lower extremities. Any tension, negative darkness energy that you do not want. Any restrictive energy. Let it flow out into the ethers for the sun to dissipate. And see the sun filling your legs, that white energy filling your legs and your ankles and feet and let all the last of that dense energy out through your toes and you're laying in the sunlight of God feeling the warmth feeling the energy that feels good it feels so good to be in fifth dimension and I want you to feel that energy as it leaves your heart and fills your body with that loving energy And that loving energy is so loving it goes beyond your physical body out to those around you, out into the ethers, out into your friends and your family and any other people that are important in your life and even those that aren't important and even to those that are giving you difficulties. Send them that love. And I want you to bask in the sunlight of God as you're sending your love out, as it's filling you and sending out to all those around you. Just sit, rather late, and relax in the sunlight. I'll call you back in a moment.
Now that you've had a practice time, I want you to do this daily. Visualize yourself in the fifth dimension. Visualize yourself in this beautiful, relaxed state of perfection, as perfect love in the eyes of God, knowing that you are a child of God and you have overcome all the trials and tribulations of moving into this new space, this new life. Anytime you want to recreate this feeling, I suggest on a daily basis, let it expand and take up your life even for more periods of time because love and God is all energy and expansion. Let it feel who you are and let it flow throughout your life. That peace and tranquility and serenity surround you and be who you are. Just as Jesus quieted the storms, you have quieted the storms of your life and you have come home to the grace of God. I wish you blessings, more blessings. They are unlimited and more blessings. And so it is. Thank you, Ariel. Well, I just want to tell everybody we had quite a day today. And I hope that you have had a good time and learned something and can hopefully find that you it's not as hard as you think to move into ascension. You're ascending your consciousness and I want to have you up there with me too so we can just have a jolly time. It's all about having fun and good wishes for everybody. So I wish you to have a happy St. Patrick's Day and have lots of fun. Toodaloo! Toodaloo, Martha. Thank you. Thank you.